Hey guys, so I'm underneath my 2014 Dodge Grand Caravan and uh, I showed you there previously there's two spots of uh, something dripping on the ground. It's very near to the radiator, in fact if you take a closer look it's at the radiator at the very bottom. But I couldn't tell from the front where exactly it was coming from and it's a pretty new vehicle so I figured well it can't be the radiator itself so maybe it's a hose, something like that. So what I did, uh, take your time to get underneath and there's a large shroud here. I've already loosened it up. Get that shroud off. Make sure you have some good lighting under here as well. This will help you. And I've already taken off the hose clamp. I'll show you what the issue was. The hose clamp had broken into two pieces. So this is a spring clamp. It applies constant pressure to the rubber hose and it had cracked. Uh, maybe it was a manufacturer's defect. And of course that caused this leak to happen. So this pipe is loose right now and it was dripping out quite a bit. So uh, when you go to the parts store, they do not have these clamps anymore, it seems. So they'll always say, hey, just get one of these. Well, there's very limited access in there. And I said, I can't use one of those. I don't have access for a screwdriver. If you take a closer look, you'll see that there is a, a hex drive on there. And you should be able to get a socket wrench in there to tighten this up or a very short, stubby screwdriver. So uh, that's what I'm going to try today. Now, the good thing about these hose clamps is that uh, in this particular case, you would need to slide it on uh, prior. So you need to take the hose right off and slide it on and of course put the hose back on so you're going to get some more fluid draining out. With this one here, you don't need to do that. The, uh, this will loosen off completely, it will open up, wrap it around the hose and you'll be able to tighten that up and not have excessive uh, uh, leaking. So after opening it up it will look like this. And it's fairly easy to get that back engaged. So I hope you guys can see that uh, right in here there is no hose clamp and it is leaking little by little. So it is extremely awkward to get access to that uh, hose clamp there. So what I've done is I pulled it out a little bit further. You can get your wrench on there, a uh, socket set rather, on there and tighten it up most of the way until you can just barely slip it on uh, and then finish it up in the final position. That'll save yourself a lot of headache and getting access and uh, slipping and, and whatnot. Okay, that's all tightened up. It's very snug. Now what I'll do is I'll just wiggle it around and make sure that there is no leak. Because before, it definitely uh, it leaked any time I would move it. Then we'll move on to filling it up. Okay, so here's the fluid uh, fill cap for the radiator. Now you're going to need to check down to see what your current level is. And on this van, I have it propped up. So we're going to be able to look from below and see where we are. Uh, from the looks of it, I'm on an angle. It's going to be thrown off a little bit. Um, from the looks of it, I'm really low. Extremely low. Okay, so here is the minimum. And it looks like it's below that. Uh, it's really hard to tell even uh, at all what the level is. So right down in here is the maximum. Right there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll fill it the majority of the way, uh, at least to the minimum line. I'll make sure there's no leaks, and then we will uh, remove the band from the blocks and lower it down so that it's level and then fill it the rest of the way. Uh, of course, you don't want to pass the maximum line.
okay back onto the van again. So the best way to check is obviously first to clean off the area that was affected within there and then after you fill it up you uh, you go ahead and just double check to make sure before you move anything change your setup that there is no additional leaking. So I clean off this area here there is uh, no dripping obviously it's very awkward but you can see it's pretty clean so I think I'm in good shape I'm gonna move the van and uh, we'll fill up the reservoir the rest of the way okay and don't forget to put that shroud back on Okay, so I made an amateur mistake. I had it a little bit too full. When I leveled out the van, the level was too high. So siphon a little bit out, like this. Okay, hopefully you can see the reservoir level there. And just like that, guys, you save yourself a few hundred dollars. So good luck with this project. If you have the same issue that I did, hopefully it works out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thanks everyone.